Hello and welcome to another video from CBIT's Tech. I went to my favourite charity shop uh, the other day and I picked up these. Not exactly a bargain, but quite nice all the same. I also picked up this sealed 1999 copyright uh, Best of Tommy Steele. Hello, it's me from editing here. We'll get back to the cassettes in a few seconds. But I've just checked Wikipedia and Tommy Steele is still around and uh, in the last five years or so he's still been performing. He uh, wrote us an audio book, uh, wrote a story, which turned it into an audio book. Uh, but it's all on Wikipedia, so I'm going to put a link in the description box to the Wikipedia page, and you can look him up himself. Now back to the cassettes. Using some old movies, uh, usually some happy songs, uh, and they remind me of my childhood, so I'll enjoy listening to some of that. So these, I think I paid over the odds. What do you think? Um, but it was my favourite charity shop. I, in fact, I gave them about 60 pre-recorded cassettes a while back, and most of them have already been sold. And they sell those for £2 each, so they've done quite well out of that. So this was quite nice. I don't really need any more cassettes. I've got a whole box of Type 1 um, new old stock cassettes. I'll show you that near the end. But... Uh, these were sealed and in nice condition and I thought well, I'll have those. I don't think I've ever unwrapped an AD90. I'm not unwrapping them today but uh, I'm just going to show them to you today. So I think this one is 1986. Might have a copyright on there somewhere. I'm guessing. I'm not really good at the um, the dates of these but uh, 3 99 not bad. I mean, it's a bit it's a bit up there for a cassette, but I was there and I don't mind buying it when it's for charity if it's a little bit overpriced. I think this one might be 1984. And I've got quite a few of these used and uh, I've never unwrapped one, so I thought it'd be nice to have a brand new one as well. If I do do any unwrapping, I'll, um, I'll, uh, I'll shoot a video for it, so it uh, might be good if you subscribe. That was pretty slick, wasn't it? I'm getting the hang of this YouTube lock. Now, this one's quite interesting. It's only HF90s. There we go. That's where they are. Um, now, this one's from Woolworths, or Woolies was we used to call it. This was a sort of general store back in the 70s and 80s, as far as I know, and it closed maybe 10 years ago, something like that. Um, and they used to sell... They had quite a good record store, actually. They used to sell vinyl records and tapes and stuff like that. And I'm quite interested in this. Um, what they've done is they've got a five pack and there's one extra stuck onto it. And I'm just wondering whether it came like that from Sony. So did Sony say, take loads of our extra stock and we'll add in a sixth one you can sell for free. There's a special offer. So people buy five, they get free. And then you can, they used to have adverts on TV and it was a lot of their special offers. Um, buy six Sony HS for the price of five, only at Woolies, only at Woolworths, that type of thing. And there's the original price sticker for it. So was it the fact that they got it from the manufacturer with the six one already added, or did they buy a load of fives, break them up, and then add a single one on, and it's uh, added with sticky tape, and then stick um, a special offer label on it. So if you know, if you was in retail back then, or you know for sure, how these deals were done then uh, please let me know so they're quite nice i've got a couple of used ones of these and i don't think they're bad tapes they're not you know decent type twos uh, but a lot of the time i'm listening to tapes while i'm working so it'd be nice to unwrap a couple of these in the future as well so what do you think did i get a good price where's the price on these there it is 14.99 for six unused sony hfs Three ninety nine for a uh, Memorex DB sixty, only a sixty minute one. They did have, actually have a three pack of TDK nineties, but I've got loads of those. I'll show you those in a minute. And finally, um, three ninety nine for a TDK AD ninety. Did I get a good price? So let me show you some of the other uh, new old stock I've got. Actually, before I show you the new old stock I've got, I'll just show you these used ones. This is my box of decent used cassettes that uh, did a video on that Simon's cassette uh, I'll pop a link up there and in the description box and it's a bit muffled so it's, uh, these Mitsubishi ones don't seem to be very good tapes it was new when I opened it um, there's an AR90 there which is quite nice and that I think 
yeah not as bright and as clear as other tapes keep the display because i really like the look of that ross one and i'm quite keen on the ross mini disc um player cleaners there's a video for that up there and fuji oh, i like this classic i think this is 1980s styling so yeah i've got a few here there's an ad i think ad90 let's have a look yeah, there's an AD90 already opened. So these are cassettes which are pretty good quality and um, but not with music I like. So we've got a few of those, typical D's, uh, what else have I got in there? Uh, more TDKs, so TDKs. And I've got loads of other ones I've got to integrate into this, but I haven't really got to, I've got to find time to do it. These are beautiful looking cassettes, look at that. Um, the instructions on the leader there, I really like these ones. But recently I've been using some old cassettes that I really like the look of, which I used, but they're not as good quality as these. So there's a batch of the HFs that starts, let me find out where it starts. Yeah, so it starts there. That's a 60 though, so there's 90s. Uh, there's a Fuji one there. So there's quite a few of them. That's a beautiful cassette as well. I do intend to use all of these. So I've got a few of those um, Sony HFs. There you go. So maybe half a dozen, four or five, something like that. And what else have we got here? That's some BASFs. So the plan is to have one box of. Um, used but good quality type 1 cassettes and a box of good quality type 2s and new old stock type 2s because they're harder to come by and they're quite expensive um, and then one box of brand new um, type 1 new old stock cassettes um, but I've got way more than that now and more than I could probably ever ever use so I am in the process of a long project to sort them all out go through and sort them all out um, these are my D TDK D60s. I think I'll pick these up with the um, uh, with the. Uh, there's a an old shop. I can't remember the name of it. I might put it down at the bottom if I remember it in editing. Um, but they were cassette holders. I'll put a link up the top to that video as well. I think I've got those with that one. This one I picked up cheap from eBay and it was sealed. And I've used a few of those. So I've got plenty of those. And. Uh, there's another one there, I think. Yeah, 90. Maxell URs, quite modern ones. That's uh, the uh, used one I showed you earlier. That's a, an unused one of those. And then another style of URs. I think that was one of the most modern ones. And then TDKFEs, got quite a few of those. I won't get them all out, but uh, got a few of those as well. And these ones, I picked these up quite cheaply, and I think it was, um, how many was in a pack? I can't remember now, there's a pack, probably about 10 maybe, um, for two pounds I think they were selling for. And I picked those up, and those I used, I think I picked two lots of those, and I've got a playlist of about 12 uh, tapes of 80s stuff, and I play that in my Pioneer um, system, another link will be up there. While I'm working, and it just goes, it's got auto reverse, it plays first side, skips to the second side, and then I uh, change the tape after that. But they're, they're getting a bit worn now, and they sound a bit muffled. So, everyone's got like a bush, haven't they? Uh, another, a BASF there. That one, I picked up a used one of those, and I saw a, a new old stock one, and I thought I'd buy it. I'll probably never unwrap it because I think this is a 70s cassette and it didn't sound that good. The used one I had didn't sound all that good. Uh, Alba, pretty cheap. Sony FX. And then finally... Oh, CD, CD It 1. So they're the ferric version. There's some CD It 2s in my uh, new old stock chrome ones. I'm not going to show you the new old stock chrome type 2 ones. Um, but if we get enough people asking for it, I'll do a quick video on those, so leave a comment. 
So if you've got to the end of this video, you must like this sort of stuff. So click the like button, the thumbs up, and you'll get to, the algorithm, algorithm will serve you more of this type of videos. And it will also help other people who like this type of videos to find my channel. So that'd be really handy. And if you have got this far, it's probably worth you subscribing because I do make content about cassettes and mini discs. And I hope you'll enjoy that too. So for now, thanks very much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.